Hey guys, I know this, this is gonna seem tedious as heck, but um, text replacement legitimately is um, one of the things that I wish uh, was more emphasized in Apple's iPhone guides. So have you ever, well, over the course of your iPhone using life, I know that there have been words that you've typed commonly that autocorrect just repeatedly um, corrects uh, in, in an unwanted sense, as in, uh, I'm gonna use, I, I mean, that autocorrect enabled for a long time, um, but I'm gonna pretend that the word bogan uh, autocorrects to something else all the time. So I've included a, a series shortcut in the guide that you can add to your home screen. You can see in the bottom right, I named it dictionary. Um, and that series shortcut will navigate you to settings, general, keyboard, and text replacement. Um, you can just do that uh, in one action. That's why I included that. It's, it's worth it. Um, so I don't know what this looks like when you haven't had any entries. <laughs> um, but, uh, I'm gonna declare bogan as part of my vocabulary here. And technically I would, I could just do that. I could just have, um, just the, the first text entry phrase there, or, well, field, uh, the, the first text entry field. That's what I meant to say. Um, but I usually, I usually do both. Uh, and I, I don't know, uh, exactly what that does. I'm pretty sure it, it, it allows for autocorrect. Um, so we go from the word bogan being, uh, autocorrected to Boston all the time. Let's say to, uh, if I misspell bogan, it will actually with autocorrect on, uh, correct to the word that I've declared here. So that's, uh, that's the primary function of text expander, or I'm sorry, of text replacement. Text expander is an app that does something uh, very similar to uh, another function of text replacement, which is uh, using it as a, as a shortcut to like complicated or um, otherwise like hard to produce phrases. Um, so you see, uh, actually I should slow that down here. So that, that PAP, um, shortcut, what I did was I typed PAP and from here I can do a space and it'll correct it. Uh, or I can hit escape and I can still type out PAP. Um, one of the ones that I use really often is this, uh, which is the Boyai emoji. Um, but uh, I also use this one all the time. Um, nope, that wasn't right. <laughs> A26 and, and Boyai are pretty much the, the, the ones that I use. Um, but uh, you can use that like, it's kind of, a, it's kind of an optional thing, a quick thing. Um, but yeah, the main function of this is it allows you to, uh, declare your own vocabulary basically. And I, I would advise like maybe if you're amused by this idea, like, and you want to sit around and noodle and, and think about like what you could add. Sure. Uh, but instead I would advise that you install that shortcut on the home screen. Um, and just whenever the next time that you uh, encounter unwanted autocorrection, just pause for a second, um, open up this menu, and enter uh, the subject word in here. So yeah, I think that's that's text repla replacement. Uh, there's also a link to to Apple's guide, which really focuses on the latter function. Um, but uh, in fact, I don't think Apple actually acknowledges that this is a user dictionary, even though it is called user dictionary in the system settings.
But yeah, as always, let me know if you have any questions.